Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you in ASP.NET Core web application how to create a new user registration form with a profile picture. And here we got the funnel output. Notice the header tag new user registration form with profile pic in ASP.NET Core MVC. Let's check the form. So here the profile pic upload controller. The drop down list and ready button controls. Now, before enter the user details, if the user click the create button, see here I got all the validation messages. So, now let's enter the name, challenge, the email. If I enter some random text, if I click tab, notice here, please enter a valid email ID. So, chchallen at gmail.com. And the password I'm adding one two three, and the confirm password if I enter four five six. So notice here we got a message confirm password and password do not match. So let's add the confirm password also is one two three, and the gender is male, and let's select the matter status is married. After that I'm selecting the profile pic choose file. Let's select the profile pic is uh, Chetika Software Technology. I'm selecting that one. Is I want to make this as a profile pic. Now, before insert this user new user details into our table, let's check in the project open solution explorer. Notice in the images folder right now it's empty. And also in the database table, execute. And here we got the results. Right now, this table contains zero rows. Let's insert the data. Create. And here we got a message. The user Charan is saved successfully. If you check in the folder, notice we got the now in the database execute. See here the profile pick the path. That's it. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. Before writing the coding part in ASP.NET Core, first we'll create a new table in SQL Server Management Studio. I'm expanding the root folder as well as the databases. I want to create a new table in this EMP databases. Before that, let me expand this database as well as the tables folder. Now select the EMP database, right click the mouse, new query. Now let's write the query to create a table. Create table user reg is a table name. Let's add some columns to this table. User ID, integer type, not null. I'm adding primary key, identity column one comma one. And the next column name is username varchar 150. User email. It's an end card 150. Make this also end card. After that, I'm adding UPWD, which is a password, user password end card 150. User um, repassword. Repassword end card 150 user gender is cat type and the next column name I want to add the user matter status status and valve cat 150 and the last column I'm adding the user profile pic user profile pic 
एंड वैप का मैक्स एंड द लास्ट कॉलम आई हैव एडेड द प्रोफाइल पिक ऑफ द यूजर व्हिच कंटेंट्स ओनली द द इमेज पाथ एक्चुअल इमेज आई वांट टू स्टोर इन द प्रोजेक्ट रूट फोल्डर so let's create this table execute and here we got a message command completed successfully let's refresh this tables folder and here notice the user reg is added successfully in this emp database let's browse the table select top 1000 rows and here we got the results of this newly created user reg table right now this table contains empty rows zero rows so let's write the coding part for this video tutorial i'm creating a new asp.net core web application go to file new project and from the projects i'm selecting asp.net core web application click next let's give the project name new user reg with profile pick is my project name and i want to store this project in d drive project folder after that click create and i'm selecting mvc controller application model view controller and the dotnet core the version i'm using 3.0 click create and the project is created successfully let's close this default window first in this project open solution explorer first in this project i'm adding a controller mvc controller in this controllers folder i right click the controllers add controller and i'm selecting mvc controller empty add and the controller name is new user reg is my mvc controller name click add See here the packages are installing from the nudget package. And here we got our controller new user reg. After adding the controller, now the next step we add classes in the models folder. Open solution explorer. In the project there is a models folder. Let's add the classes. Right click the models folder. Add class. Let's give the class name is user reg. Is a class name. User reg class is a class name. Add. And here we got our user reg class. And this user reg class is for to define the public properties. It's a simple Poco class. So first, let's add um, using using system dot component model dot data inertions after adding this package the next step let's add the key attribute then define the property prop double tab which will create the property the first property is an integer type and the property name is int and the property name is in our table So let's copy this one. We require these column names. Is here. So the first property name is a user ID. Copy this one and paste here. Prop double tab and second property type is a string type. and the property name is username copy this one and paste here 
prop double tab string type and the property name is user email copy this one and paste here prop double tab and the next one is a string and the property name is the password user password copy this one and paste here prop double tab string is a read password prop cat type the next property name is user gender so let's copy this user gender paste here prop double tab string type this one is user marital status the property name is and the final property is string type to store the profile pic so now I don't require this one Now after adding the properties, next let's declare um, required error message is equals to please enter username. And display name and display name is equals to username let's copy this one and the second one for the data annotations please enter user email id is a error message and the label name is a email data type data type dot um, email id email address enter password and the label of this password is a password only and the next attribute I'm adding data type data type dot password let's copy this one Please enter confirm password is the error message and the label is a confirm password and the data type is password. Now I want to compare this user password and user repassword both must be match. So for that I'm adding a new attribute called compare is a compare method. In this compare method I'm adding between double quotes is a user P upwd which is a property name for the password user password for the gender select the gender for the gender I am using the radio button elements so I am adding the select the gender and the label is the gender marital status please select for marital status I am using the drop down list control please select 
marital status. Let's copy this one and paste here. And the last one, and the profile pic, I'm not adding any validation attributes here. That's it. After creating the properties in this class user rich class, now let's add a, another class for the DB context. So again, open Solution Explorer and the same models folder. Right click that one, add class, and the class name is application DB context. And here we got our application DB context class. Now in this application DB context class, I want to inherit that DB context. So to inherit, we need to add semicolon colon DB context. So this DB context class is belongs to using Microsoft dot entity framework core. After that, let's add the DB context. Then uh, let's create the constructor CTOR, which is a shortcut to create the uh, constructor. Now, in this constructor, I'm adding DB context option. In this option, I'm adding the DB context name, which is the application DB context. Then options colon base options. After that, we'll add a new property prop double tab, and this property type is a DB set. And this DB set, we're getting the entities from this user reg class. So let's add this user reg class name. Then the property name. Here the property name is very important. We must add our the table name. So let's visit the SQL Server database again. Our table name is user reg. Just copy that one and paste here. That's it. Now we require the data source, the connection string. So to get the data source from the database, notice here the Server Explorer, open that one. In the server explorer, there is a data connections. Right click that data connections, add connection. SQL Express, after that, the database name is the EMP database. The table I have created in this database EMP. After that, test connection is succeeded. OK. OK. And here we got our emp.db is added under data connections. Now we require the data source of this emp. Right click the mouse, go to properties, and notice in the properties there is a connection string which contains a data source. Just copy that data source. Now let's add this data source in app settings.json file. Open that app settings.json file. And here in the app settings or JSON file, between double quotes, I'm adding connection strings colon comma. Let's add them. My connection string name is my connection colon between double quotes. I'm pasting the data source which I have copied. So after adding the connection string in this app settings.json file, next step we require the services. So open Solution Explorer in the project notice at the bottom there is a startup.cs file. Open that one. Now here in the startup.cs file, we'll add our services. So before that, let's import the packages using Microsoft.entity framework code semicolon the next we require that db context class so our application db context class is in the models folder 
so to add the models folder using new user rights our project name it's a new user rights project name dot models folder after adding these two packages next I notice here the public wide configure services and let's add the services services dot add db context in this db context I'm adding the db type the context is the application db context this class I'm adding here then options options dot the SQL server use SQL server the SQL server takes the string parameter so configuration dot get connection string method and this get connection string method takes a string parameter so between double quotes which is a string and I'm adding in this string is our connection string name which is in the app settings.json file open that one my connection is our connection string name copy that one and paste in this connection string method then add with semicolon that's it after adding the service as db context and our connection string in this startup.cs file now we'll write the coding part in new user rich controller so before that we have to add the namespaces using microsoft.entity framework core the next one using I'm I want to store the images in the project folder so I require the uh, other packages microsoft.asp.net core dot hosting and the next one is a uh, using microsoft dot asp dot net code dot http namespace next one i require the models folder also so using new user or project name dot models folder then the last package i want to import the ivo streams package because we are dealing with the files using system dot io so after adding the packages next in the controller declare the private read only and this read only i'm adding my application db context class application db context where we get our connection strings from this class underscore adp semicolon and the next one private read only and private read only I'm adding I host I web host environment I'm using I web host environment to save the profile pics in the project folder underscore I web then let's create the constructor CTOR double tab from this constructor I'm adding our DB context I don't record this underscore here and the interface I web host environment interface also I'm adding copy this one and paste here I'm deleting the underscore adb uh, underscore adb is equals to adb underscore ivab is equals to ivab now let's add the async post index method to post the data http post method value 
validate anti fraudulent token then let's add the method public async task the task and this task I'm adding the T result is I action result and the method name is the index method Now in this index method I'm adding I form file so file object is an object then the second parameter I'm adding our user reg class to get the properties user reg class urc is an object Now in this index method, I want to store the profile images, uh, the image extension only the JPG or GIF files only in the project root folder. So let's declare the string variable image extension is equals to path dot uh, get extension method and this get extension method I'm adding now in this get extension method the string path we are getting from the file object the file name the extension we are getting from this file name only so file object dot file name semicolon after we select the profile images I want to check the validate the profile extension the image extension if it's jpg or gif files only I want to upload which is not the jpg or gif I don't want to allow to update the images into a project root folder so I want to validate before saving the images if img extension ext double equals to between double quotes I'm adding jpg double pipe which is r image extension double equals to is jeff dot jeff so once we check this condition jpg at jeff i want to uh, upload those files so I'm declaring the variable save upload image upload img is equals to path dot combine method in the combine method the first path is uh, I want to store in the project www root folder so what I'm doing I'm adding this iweb host environment here underscore iweb dot the property name is web root path which is nothing but this is a path web root path then comma the second parameter is a string path 2 and the string is double quotes let's add the folder name here uh, add new folder images let's add this name the folder name here comma and string path 3 is the file name the file name here here the file name we are getting from this file object the file object dot file name once we got the path variable stream is equals to new file stream file stream in this file stream I'm adding the handle uploading image this variable comma and um, file mode dot create semicolon 
After that, we'll add the copy to async method. Await file object. In this method, I'm adding this string. That's it. That's it. We have added in this if condition to upload the selected the image file extension jpg or gif the images I want to store in this images folder. Once we save the images, I want to store that image path in our database. So let's continue the code urc which is our user edge class object dot this node is here here we got the properties I want to add the property user profile pick which is our column name is equals to uploading image semicolon then let's add the data into our SQL server database await underscore I'm adding our application DB context object adb dot then I will add my table name which is a user range is a table name dot add async method in this add async method I'm adding our user as object name urc here urc so once we add we need to save changes await underscore adb dot save changes async method once the record is saved successfully i want to display the message for that I'm adding view data message is equals to the user plus plus urc dot username is save successfully semicolon else in the else part if the user failed to success I want to validate uh, view data message is equals to please upload only in jpg or gif images only semicolon then return view In the return view I'm adding index method that's it we have written the code to store the user registration details with profile pic now we require the view page of this action result index method so before adding the index view page we must build the application first go to build build solution and here the project builds successfully let's close this output message box now let's add the view page of this action result index method highlight the index method right click the mouse add view the view name is index only here the template I'm selecting the template create template the create template is user to insert the records and the model class our model class here I'm adding the user reg class user reg class that's it add and here we got our index view page 
Now first in this index view page, I'm changing the header, the H1 header, I'm changing to uh, no user registration form with Deleting the H4 tag. After adding the heading tags, next notice the user ID which I don't require because the, our user ID is the auto generate column. So I'm commenting this part, the only the user ID. And the next in the gender, notice here the simple input text, but I want to add the gender is a radio button control. So let's add that type of the element is radio and name is equals to u gender pressure and the value is equals to m because in our table I have given the uh, the type of the data type is a cat type so it takes only the single character and I don't require this class deleting this bootstrap class I'm adding mail let's copy that one and the second one is a female for f female and for the marital status I want to add the select option element which is a drop down list select in this select I'm adding ASP4 so here just copy this one ASP4 add here now I don't require this one I'm commenting this input element let's add the options option select selector disable options the first option the marital status of the user is married the second option unmarried and the third option is divorce and the fourth option Now the last column is the profile pic upload. So here the input type is equals to I'm adding file and I'm adding the property name here name is equals to here the name I'm adding in the controller is file object. That's it. And the, here the button value is created only. So after the button control, I'm adding to display the message we have added the view data in the controller. So let's copy that view data dot message and paste here. I'm adding H4 tag at view data message. That's it. Now the most important in the form tag where it is here it is a form tag I'm adding the method is equals to post and I require the ASP controller is equals to our controller name is a new user reg let's add that one new user reg is our controller name and then the next one is um, ENCT pi multi-part slash form data that's it we have done the complete coding part now it's time to check the results on the browser
before run this application the most important we have to change the controller name to change the controller name open startup.cs file come to the bottom notice here the controller is equals to home which is a default controller name but here our controller name is new user reg and this is the controller name let's copy this one new user reg and add here and the action method name is the index only which is our view page also that's it let's check the results browse with I'm selecting the browser Google Chrome default set as default click browse and here we got the final output notice the header tag new user registration form with profile pic in ASP.NET Core MVC let's check the form see here the profile pic upload controller the drop down list and ready button controls now before enter the user details if the user click the create button see here I got all the validation messages so now let's enter the name challenge the email if I enter some random text if I click tab notice here please enter a valid email ID so chhn at gmail.com and the password I'm adding one two three and the confirm password if I enter four five six so notice here we got a message confirm password and password do not match so let's add the confirm password also is one two three and the gender is male and let's select the matter status is married after that I'm selecting the profile pic choose file and let's select the profile pic is uh, Chetika software technology I'm selecting that one is I want to make this as a profile pic now before insert this user new user details into our table let's check in the project open solution explorer notice in the images folder right now it's empty and also in the database table execute and here we got the results right now this table contains zero rows let's insert the data create and here we got a message the user charan is saved successfully if we check in the folder notice we got the now in the database execute see here the profile pick the path that's it